Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Today is Friday, April 12th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Um, so today I had a frustrated morning because I had a, a order issue with my broker and I contact them and the good thing is that they responded right away and kind of canceled my order. Uh, but as you can see here, I had an open order at 9.31 at the opening bell, um, two minutes. Um, and then I tried to exit, uh, but I'm getting this no cross trade error. Um, so you can see here I had a partial order um, and and I try to uh, close the partial order but it doesn't close and you can see here I have 100 shares left so I have, I'm in 400 shares and I start at 500 so I have a partial order but you can see it's trading around 150 here and it didn't fill the, the rest of the 500 at all and I couldn't cancel this and I couldn't exit my position so I had to contact my broker and they uh, end up closing my uh, open order here and then I end up um, exiting here for a $40 loss um, when it could have been a pretty much a small win or uh, pretty much a small loss um, but I end up stopping here when they canceled the open order um, so I was down like $45 in the morning uh, because of that um, but then and then I started look, uh, watching this again and there was this uh, there was this level that was holding um, so the 38 level I saw it was holding and then it was kind of curling here for higher or low you can see it tested a few times here on um, higher or low and then I went ahead and went long before this break uh, so I went long I added a few more um, I could have sold for uh, a bigger winner here but I ended up uh, stopping out for a small win there um, and then uh, later on, I saw this break here. So this flag break um, is where I went long, uh, and I, I um, since it was a little bit of a chase, I took profit sooner than usual. Um, the trigger is right here uh, at the 145, 146 area, um, but I took my half position and then full position there, and that pretty much. Uh, kind of normalize my long for that um, and then when I saw it um, failing fell to hold the over VWAP um, and I saw this I think it was this here so I saw this cup and handle for me and I went ahead and short um, short and enter short there with my wrist off like 150 Three, 154 um, and then when I saw it uh, retesting that area and failing I went ahead and re-added with the same risk level um, and then it ended up trailing breaking breaking down the 146 took some there and then it broke the 142s uh, and then I took some off there uh, and then I ended up uh, taking the rest off of uh, when when it's breaking low of day um, and then uh, it, it ended up trailing down towards like 120s, but uh, that was a $72 for on the short side uh, for KTOV. Um, the next trade I did was, I think, was FUN. So FUN, um, uh, yesterday it was uh, gapping up and it was kind of parabolic -ing. Um And today uh, I I try to buy a flag break here, um, so you can see uh, it was holding, holding VWAP here, and this little bounce. So I drew this flag here, and then you can see a little wick. Um, I I bought there, and I think because it was kind of during lunchtime, um, that uh, it didn't have enough volume, so I ended up just stopping out um, when it broke this these lows, and that was a forty-five dollar loss before this fell fell flag break here um, and then it ended up just crashing on the way back down to eight dollars um, I think my next trade was CTRM so this was just a small winner um, but what I saw here um, was this flag break um, it might have been this line yeah so I, I bought this flag break um, for this trend line here um 
and I thought it was, it was making higher lows, higher lows. And so I bought that flag break. Uh, I sold here and then I went really little shares because it had a huge spread. Um, so I sold here and then sold here on, on this highs. Um, my next target was like around this highs. Um, but it ended up uh, fell to hold the 90 MA and I went, went ahead and just uh, stopped out for the rest of my profits there. And that was just a small $22, so I went really little size. Um, and then uh, later on in the day, the uh, RBZ. So RBZ, it opened at around four on parabolic all the way to 28. Uh, and then you can see there's this gap here. And usually intraday gap skip filled, so you can see it got filled there, here. Uh, it got filled here. So I was anticipating this gap fill intraday. Um, and then I was also looking at it because um, you can see there's this trend line here. Um, there's this flag. So when it broke, when it broke these highs, I went ahead and started like 50 shares, very little. Uh, and then I added a f just tiny more and then I sold uh, just up here. My target was that gap fill of 23. Uh, it actually kind of touched it. Um, and then after the fill, it dropped right back, all the way back down. So that was just a quick trade, uh, pretty much $70 winner there. Um, so I traded uh, pretty much four tickers, um, five trades, uh, up $110 for today. Uh, ended the week um, slightly green. Um, but hopefully everyone stayed safe out there and just make sure to just uh, be patient and, and you know buy buy the breakout so so things things uh, pretty much get you in the green right away when you're entering uh, if it doesn't it's better to just uh, stop and don't stop out and just re-enter you can re-enter anytime um, and just don't get into that choppiness um, during lunchtime um, and you know uh, like if PHUN to just remember to just you know follow your plan and stop out you know you don't want to be back holding and you know wish you had stopped earlier so that's a few lessons I'm trying to learn is you know if the plan doesn't go your way or you're not in the money right away in the first uh, next minute or two then you should stop out and reanalyze your trade and get in when um, there's another setup, but uh, yeah. So that's the end of my recap. I uh, uh, hope everyone have a good weekend. Uh, see you guys on Monday. Goodbye. Okay,